I am uh, reviewing another turning point shovel or multi tube. And uh, this is called the Turning Point TCS M1. And it's certainly larger than the other than the other uh, shovel I have from Turning Point. Uh, in fact, that shovel is one of my favorites. But so I will uh, I will compare it against I'll compare it against the other turning point shovel initially. Uh, they have the same type of bag, but as you can see, there is some dimension difference. So give you some indication it will be a difference in size. And and as you can see, let me unzip them both. I always for some reason pop that thing off first. And uh, looking at this current turning point shovel, you can see that it has these, uh, these very well milled components. And that is basically the components that make up the shovel. By the way, I have uh, probably mo a lot of my subscribers at this early point are also members of my, uh, are subscribers on my other channel. So uh, you will see some repeats, like I said, but this, uh, on this channel, there will always be a focus more on either the, uh, on either the bushcraft part or uh, just the fact uh, of the uh, the knife portions. So uh, I don't want you to think you feel cheated. There's two different perspectives here. I hope they are well defined. Uh, now, as a as a backpacking or survival shovel, it is considerably long. Uh, not long in the in the range of shovels, but let me uh, let me compare it against the other turning point. shovel that I have and you will see the difference since I showed that before I think a comparison is only fair the blade itself is very very similar uh, has slight tongue on the larger one but it's a very very similar layout to the uh, to the earlier turning point, one of my favorite shovels for uh, for metal detecting, my my other hobby, and, uh, and you see it's very very different. Uh, there's no tassel on it. I mean, there's no uh, handle on it, but it's it you know it's it's very different in proportion. So this is more uh, more a larger uh, shovel, uh, probably better suited for uh, entrenching work, etc. Not a large one, it's not huge like some of these folding shovels, but like the original turning point shovel, it is uh, solid, it is all metal, and it is very, very well constructed with a very sharp edge and a, a slightly serrated edge. In fact, it has a protective cover so you don't cut yourself. I've lost the cover on this one, so I have to be taking more care. And I could sharpen this even sharper, but uh, I, don't, uh, I don't think a shovel needs to be razor sharp. Now there's another component to this, and this is the one that separates everything, and also the one you have to be wary of, because uh, putting this, uh, there's also a third component here, that's the fire starter, I'm not going to go through that, you, there's no issues on that, it's a very good fire starter, you just, you just put it in and just, you know, the normal procedures, and the whetstone, so we're not going to cover those components. But, another component of both of these knives is... A blade. Now that is a pretty daunting looking blade. Now that can be used very easily and very simply. Let me just take my move this over here. But there's also care needs to be taken because uh, when you screw this into uh, this little component, you're now looking at a pole knife. And I'm not, I really don't know how. Uh, how the constabulary would feel about you having this on your person. So I would tend, if I am going to be using the uh, either of these, but specifically this one, because this is a very, 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 very frightening looking knife. 
I would not use this unless it's in a position where I needed to use it. Uh, you know, if you're doing backpacking, etc., you, 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 you're always going to carry equipment that wouldn't be uh, necessarily, uh, uh, let's just say, uh, necessarily uh, suited for uh, <laughs> a standard urban or suburban street. So you have to be real careful about that. So I would not mount that. But this is very cool. <laughs> you know, if something's going to hurt you, you can hurt it. And uh, with this thing, you can also use it as a digger or a pick type of situation because you can flip it down like this and this does not make this thing any less any less bothersome I don't know if I uh, don't know if the law would be would be too happy with the uh, with this implementation of it either <laughs> uh, but uh, here you go you know you have a very very dangerous uh, scary movie <laughs> level device here so you know so if you're going to be using this out and you, you do not want to be rolling out this component uh helter skelter in an environment where uh, it's not as a survival or a tool uh, for uh, bushcraft or woodsmanship and it is sufficiently sharp guys i'm really careful about this this is sharper than the mo most of the knives i have seen uh I have seen uh, delivered. You know, usually they're not that sharp. I think it's so we can prevent killing and killing ourselves. Anyway, that's it. And you know, and I don't know if I ever showed this in depth with this one. I did a review and I did show the knife, but also like this one. And I'm trying to keep these components in their sheaths because they are a little sharp on the edges. So there's another thing you have to be aware of with these uh, with these turning point shovels. You can't hurt yourself. See, there's also another component to this smaller one, which is also uh, a knife. And I'm not sure if I ever showed that in detail. Excuse me, guys. Now, this one, it does not screw into the top, but it doesn't make it any less. Uh, <laughs> doesn't make it any less bothersome, probably to uh, to the long arm of the law. But uh, so there is also this component. And there's a there's also a a, a, a slingshot in there, but I've, I've shown that pretty conclusively. So once again, you have a very uh, uh, a somewhat shorter pole knife, but it is close probably to the limit of legality in most areas. So I would not be pulling that out either. So I just wanted to show you uh, the new turning point shovel. I really do like these things. They're very solidly made. Uh, they are great. You know, it's a great looking survival tool. And with the knife, it's a survival tool in some very unusual circumstances. So, uh, you know, if you, you if you do buy this, if you if you bring out some of these components, you're doing it at your own risk. I'm just saying it's, it's very nicely constructed, and it's the it offers a it offers a very good quality. Uh, and I think it would be great for look for use out in the woods. I do not know if I would be pulling out some of these components. And well, most of them would not be bothersome, but that knife, you make, you, you're definitely uh, pushing the bounds of legality in some areas. All right, I just wanted to show you this, and let me get these up and out of the way. Very easy to, in fact, I'll just show you here. So they're very easy to get these things back in and uh, return them back to their, let me just make sure this blade is covered here. This blade edge. All right. All right. Just slip it back in. Slips in. Flip it down. Very, very, very easy to construct and deconstruct. And get it back in its pouch. And then also keep the sheath on that knife because it is very, very sharp. In any case, this is the Turning Point TCSM1. I also purchased this through Amazon like I did the primary. I'm a big fan of the, the build quality turning points. Even the, the daunting legal issues you might run into, just make sure you keep those in mind when you use it or when you take it out. Uh, in any case, uh, this is uh, the Metallic Fanatic. And I will be seeing you later with... Uh, 
with new uh, with new fun toys always coming in. All right, you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.